Animal Channel presents The Crocodile Stalker. <clears throat> Traveling around the world in search of exotic wildlife, then annoying the crap out of them. Now, here's Steve. Thank you, love, and good day, everyone. As you know, I've really been through the mill as of late. And the last team of surgeons that pieced me back together suggested that I take on an assignment that, shall we say, a little less strenuous. Well, believe me, I'm not going to argue with that. But less strenuous doesn't mean less exciting. So today, I'm in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina, working as an animal control officer for the day. And I'm just arriving at my first call. This should be fun. It would appear that a cute little chipmunk has gotten into one of the local residents' homes and can't find his way out. So it's up to us to help him. Good day. Are you Mr. Brazzle? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the down in the face. He bit, I need to strip his gloves. <laughs> Take it easy there, mate. Have him out of here in no time. Where is he? In the basement. <laughs> all right, all right. Just relax. I'll take care of it. Chipmunks don't normally inspire such fear. They're an adorable little rodent native to most of North America, and they're absolutely harmless. But remember, when dealing with any wild animal, it's best to call an expert. That's why I'm here. All right, where are you, little fella? <laughs> oh, there he goes, cute as a button. This should be a piece of cake. Now, when handling any kind of wild animal, you should always wear some sort of protective gloves. You never know when you'll run across a rabid animal. I'm a professional, so there's no worries here. Here, let's move this couch. There he is. He's all rolled up in a ball, poor little guy. He's scared to death. Come here, chipmunk. I'm going to let you outside so you can go scamper and play with all your little friends. I got it. Whoa, what a fighter. What's this? Well, this isn't good. He appears to be a tad foamy around the corners of his mouth. A pretty good indication he might have rabies. Now, this is exactly the reason you should wear gloves. The last thing you need is a bite from a wild rabbit rodent. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and he's hanging on, too. But I don't think he's broken the skin. <laughs> Until just now. Looks like I'm going to need those shots. Now we'll have to take him back to the lab. The only way to be sure if he's rabid is to cut his little head off and examine the brain. Blast! He got away! I've got to find him. Here, let me wrap this bloody finger with my hanky. There we go. I'll just get down on my hands and knees and stalk him. I've brought along a pocket full of treats to tempt him out of hiding. Peanuts! Chipmunks love peanuts. They use their razor-sharp little chompers to split the nut open and get the little treat inside. All right, come here, little chipper. Old Uncle Steve wants to set you free. Oh, hold on. Oh, he's run up my pant leg. <laughs> he must smell the peanuts. Oh, those aren't peanuts. He's got a hold of my golly wobbles. My only chance is to stuff some peanuts down my pants and hope to distract him. Here you go, boy. Ah. Oh. He's turned me loose, and he's taken a peanut. Now he'll look for a place to hide and eat his treat. Then I'll get him, but I've got to move fast. I guess not fast enough. Oh, crikey. He took his peanut and ran into the nearest hiding place. My bum. Oh, I wish he'd found someplace else to hide. I feel like Richard Gere. Now what am I going to do? It's not like removing a splinter. I'll have to keep my cheeks pinched together, trying to get to the lab before he suffocates. All panics and digs his way out. Oh, did you get him? Uh, let's just say he's contained for the moment. Oh, oh thank God. Where is he? Well, uh, uh, that's a little complicated. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. You think you got problems? Must get to the truck. Almost home free. Uh-oh. I've got company. <laughs> Crikey, there's thousands of them. They must smell the peanuts. I've got to get to the truck. If I lose my little friend down there in this crowd, I'll never be able to pick him out. Get him! Uh-oh, here they come. Whoa, they're running up my pet leg after the peanuts. They've got me. I better put those peanuts down my pants. Oh, oh that's better. I just hope they don't go looking for their little friend. Oh, it feels like they're having a party. Where'd they get that radio? 
I don't know how many more I can take before I... Tune in again next week for another episode of The Crocodile Stalker. What's a fella got to do to get a wet nap around here?